The PICO method can be a valuable tool for breaking down your research question into manageable concept groups. The P will stand for patient, population, problem, or phenomenon. I will stand for intervention or exposure. C stands for comparison. O stands for outcome. Optional T stands for time frame. And optional S stands for setting. Using this method can help you translate your search terms into something the database can interpret. Ideally, this will leave you with a manageable set of search results. For example, my research inquiry is, in cesarean patients, what are the rates of wound infection based on type of wound closure material, especially surgical staples or subcuticular sutures? My population is cesarean patients. My intervention is subcuticular sutures. I'm comparing them against surgical staples. My outcome that I'm interested in is wound infection. I have not identified a specific time frame, nor have I identified a specific setting. You can have more than one word on a particular line, and you do not have to use all of the pieces of the PICO. Use this method in a way that helps you and that makes sense to you.